wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them and I... I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My long ship's in Valhalla. Don't you remember? Fire starter. <gasps> Come on, let's get you to solid ground. Everything's spinny. You're very strong. You're very large. This, Eivor. I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. It need not be the last. Not the last. <laughs> mm -hmm. Enough fun and games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Eivor! I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It's been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? I'm ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Join me. Friends, honored guests. We've pushed through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss and suffering. But it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. Lights in the dark. I see East Anglia's future right here, right now, in all of you, Dane and Saxon alike, to our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? I'm not one to bask in the glow of another's triumph. But I'll say this. East Anglia is safe. Under his protection, under his guidance, under his wing, the good King Oswald will keep you safe for many moons to come. To Oswald! Skull! 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 Okay, everyone. The bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. We can't lose to Oswald! It was a beautiful wedding, Oswald. Like you said it would be. Thanks to you and everything you've done here.
East Anglia needed a leader. I simply helped put the right one on the throne. When we met, I spoke of an alliance. Will you hold to the oath you made? I will. Consider East Anglia a friend of the Raven Clan. There will be a day when I come calling. Goodbye, friend. Until next time, Great King. I should find Finia. Say goodbye before I leave. Ah, greetings, Eivor. You're missing the festivities. I've had my fill. It's as much yours as it is Oswald's. I was a crumbling man, Eivor. Before all this, I thought I'd die a tired old failure. But now, my heart burns bright with newfound fire. I want to live hard, die fierce. Glory cares not for age, Finir. Sail with me. My ship could always use a wise head and a strong axe. Together? Together. I'll gather my things. Seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. <laughs> what do you? A moment. Rowan, Holger. Eivor, thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holger robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Huh. disappointed word. Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A Philly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Huh. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing. Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. 
but this morning, Hogear stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail, bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Hallgear, and how right I was. But when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush, slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom. To make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed- Rowan? As I was saying, this morning in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used it to make a perfect brush. You clipped Alfka. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Olga, Broen is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail. Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale! Rowan! Admit it! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by tears' blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to pay you with a vibrant painting? After all, it's so precious. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. That Holger, he is quite a character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass, and live with such petty concerns, he hasn't a care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. Some interesting news. King Chilvulva sent Chilbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Chilbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Svend passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at his burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. Who could Gothvan be? One of us? Hey there! How are you?
was so much we were meant. Toby. Eivor, it's Sven. He... He passed while I was away. Toby, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning, and we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was in his bed, sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do, things he meant to do. His death was so empty, not like in our stories. When we tell stories, the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready. And I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work. As if nothing happened. Because they don't know. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give. But all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong, and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me. Or worse. But this was the fate woven for me, so I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Toby. And know you are valued. When I close my eyes, Sven, I see your designs on the arms of the gods. A moment. Tekla, you look like you wrestled a bear. Is something wrong? Gods, Eivor. I was robbed on the road between here and Lincoln. By who? Did you get a good look at them? They were Saxons, I know that much. A pack of them lifted four barrels of my ale and all the coin I had on me. The biggest one pulled me off my horse and stuck his mouth in my ear, said, Tell Guthban we expected him home soon. Guthban? That's Battlebone in the Saxon tongue. Are you sure? That's what he said. It's not someone here, is it? Not that I know of. I do not begrudge us taking in orphans, Eivor. But some of these Saxons, we hardly know them. You ought to ask around. A good idea. You take care of yourself. Let me see to this. Thank you, Eivor. Tarbin, 
Do you have a second? I was wondering if... I am Guthpen, Eivor. It means battle bow. Not the name of a cheery baker, is it? Not one who bakes bread, no. So, how did you earn this name? Before I came here, I lived another life. A brutal, bloody life. I served with a gang of mercenaries. I was their weapon, roaming the wilds of England. Did whatever they asked of me, and all they asked was violence. When I left, I laid this sword on the grass and made a vow. I swore never to spill another drop of blood, to abandon acts of violence, to never kill again. A hard promise for a hard man. It wasn't, not for me. This life here is all I've ever wanted. I've never been more at peace. This is my doing. I brought all this upon you. It is down to me to fix it. Tarbin, by threatening you, they threaten my clan. I cannot allow that. These men are foul, Eivor. You should not have to fight my battles for me. Do you not hear me, Tarbin? If they threaten you, they threaten me. So let us face them, together. Very well. Meet me outside when you're ready. I believe I know where they will be. If you wish to face your old friends, I'm ready when you are. Good. I'll lead the way. I want you to know, should it come to blows with my old crew, I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the work you need to do. There's nothing to forgive. You walked away, they pursued. By axe or by fist, I will do what must be done to protect my clan. <laughs> You're living the life you want, aren't you? Before we are spotted, tell me what I should expect here. Will they attack us on sight? I shouldn't think so. No. Nothing like that. It's not how Wilf... Yes, he's a clever one. And rather kind when you meet him. Makes you feel like you're a friend. Family. I met him a decade ago, and he was the first person to truly welcome me. To see some value in me. He told me I had a gift. For intimidation. Persuasion. Violence. Just by the size and strength of me, he knew how to use me. What do they... They'll want me back. They'll want me back. They'll want me to be the man they think I am. Monstrous and massive. Wilf and them were the only family I had then. But their love was conditioned. Wilf only loves what he owns. So what do you intend? I know I won't go back. I don't want more blood on my hands. But apart from that, it's hard to say. Who knows what they have in mind? Yeah. <laughs> 
We're stopping. That house, there. They're likely within. It won't look like much, Eivor. But don't be fooled. And don't take Wilf lightly, charming as he seems. The man is a serpent. I've met plenty of charmers who turned out to be snakes. I know, I know. Only a warning. Let's go inside. Goffin, my boy, as I live and breathe, you got my message, and you brought a friend. Who might you be, Dane? His new leash? I am Eivor, and the woman you robbed was one of my clan. That will not stand. I oh, know, I know. I'm busted up about it. But tell Tekla, was it? Tell her that Arayal is some of the finest we've tasted. I am done with you, Wilf. But we are not done with you, boy. We gave you food, shelter, ale to drink, riches galore. We made you who you are. For all you did for him, he repaid you with blood and sweat. Did he not? You're a fiery one, I like that. But the ink was dried on this deal well before your number arrived in England. If you wish to clear Tarbin's name, I'm happy to help with that. It's only a small matter of cost. Some weeks back, soldiers confiscated my personal wares, shall we say. Tried to confiscate me as well, but I gave them the slip. If you're keen, you could recover my belongings and return them to me. Do that, and your name is clear. I... I can't. I promised myself I would leave all this behind. But... If it will clear Tarbin's name, we will recover what is yours. Where are these soldiers? Camped not far to the west. A battalion of bloated, brainwashed military men. You can't miss it for the smell. Wait here, then. We will return before you sprout another pair of horns. God go with you, Eivor. Eivor, this isn't your fight. You don't need to do this. But I am. Now listen. When we reach the camp, leave everything to me. I will find Wolf's goods and bring them to you. If I'm spotted, it won't be pretty. Many may die, and I do not want you involved. You must not break your vow. No vow stands above my duty to my friends, Eivor. I could not leave you alone with them should they attack. If it comes to that, stand aside until then. I will. You have my word. Inside.
Wait here, and stay out of sight. Oh, look, damn it. Some martyr's knob around your neck. No? You can never be too careful. Soon in. Guide me.
effects. Are you seeing this? Yeah, it's weird. An anomaly of some kind. The rest of your simulation is frozen. I can see a loose data packet close by. I'll see if I could reach it. Okay, but take it slow. We don't know what this thing is. Wake, my love, wake! Soldiers at our door, they've come for you! For us! Let them take me! I have no more fear! Let me air my wrath in the courts! They'll kill you before they let you speak! I'll appeal to the council! They must know what the Mad One has done! They're upon us! Now is not the time!
Vex, I'm closing in on the data packet. I see it. It's encrypted, but nothing I can't handle. I have it. Sending it over.
This is everything. I'll return to Tarman. You found it! I did. Let's bring this back to Wilf. You handled that better than I would have. Is this the sort of work you did with Wilf and your family of marauders? A quick robbery like this? That was the least of our work. We stole from the poor, killed the helpless, cheated the dimwitted. We were lower than slugs. I shudder to remember our best days. And I weep for our worst. Let it go, then. Remember only what... Let it go, then. Remember only what makes you a better man. Yeah. 
Have a good sore.